okay students today we will uh, discuss first chapter the new topic soil as a resource in very simple sentence what we can say superfine so, particles of weathered rock with humans which is indispensable for growth of plant is known as soil so with regard to the soil soil can be of two types by the process of formation first one is the residual and second one transported variety of soil so with regard to the residual soil this variety of soil is formed by the process of weathering and what is weathering weathering can be defined as process by which exposed rocks are weathered and teared or broken into simpler form or a smaller pieces then next one with regard to the transported variety of soil this variety of soil is transported and deposited by the river you can take the example of alluvial soil so the sediments have been transported from the mountainous region and they have been deposited in the plain area so this uh, alluvial soil is a good example of transported variety of soil and black soil what i told you earlier it can be taken as example of residual variety of soil so with regard to the soil formation several factors are there important factors which are influencing the formation of soil first one is relief or you can say the topography second point parent rock or the bed rock then climate vegetation cover and the time these are the factors which are influencing the formation of soil other than uh, the factors some forces are also there like change in temperature action of running water wind uh, and glacier activity of decomposers so all these are also contributing to the formation of soil after that we will discuss about the classification of soil so with regard to the soil soil can be categorized into different uh, categories on the basis of formation color thickness texture age chemical and physical properties under alluvial soil red soil black soil laterite soil desert soil and mountain soil now let us discuss about different varieties of soil one by one first we will discuss about alluvial soil this is most widely spread and important variety of soil and we are getting this variety of soil in the entire northern plain of uh, india then we are getting uh, in uh, coastal areas uh, particularly in the deltas of mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri so this variety of soil le, on the basis of age can be categorized into two main types on the basis of age khad and bang khad and bang these are the two varieties of alluvial soil what we are getting so with regard to the khad soil this variety of soil is new alluvial soil this variety of soil is new alluvial soil and with regard to the bang it is the old alluvial soil and from this topic one question is very important differentiate between khadar and bang first point khadar is new alluvial bang is old alluvial soil second point khadar is fine grained bang coarse grained another point of difference khadar is more fertile bang is comparatively less fertile or infertile in nature another point of difference with regard to the khadar it is found in between the bank of the river up to the flood plain area but bang variety of soil we are getting above the flood plain area where over flooded water of the river is unable to raise then uh, this variety of soil is uh, very fertile one as it is rich in uh, nutrients such as potash phosphoric acid and lime so it is uh, suitable for cultivation of sugarcane rice wheat pulses etc then we will discuss about the another variety of soil that is black soil so with regard to the black soil this variety of soil is uh, an example of residual variety of soil 
locally known as ragged soil and it is uh, ideal for cultivation of cotton so we are also calling it as black cotton soil so this variety of soil we are getting in the Deccan Trap area and it has been formed due to the weathering of lava rock or volcanic rock or you can say the basalt in the plateaus of Maharashtra, Saurashtra, Malwa, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and also uh, in some of the patches of Godavari and Krishna valleys we are getting this uh, variety of soil. After that we will discuss about the composition of soil. So this variety of soil is uh, rich in calcium carbonate, magnesium, potash and uh, lime but it is poor in phosphoric content. Some of the other characteristics uh, are also there that uh, this variety of soil is made up of clay material. It is uh, well known for its uh, capacity to hold moisture. It is uh, developing cracks uh, during the hot dry weather for aeration of the soil. It becomes uh, sticky after the rain. So these are the other characteristics of this variety of soil. After that we will discuss about the another variety of soil that is red soil. So with regard to this variety of soil, it uh, has been formed due to the weathering of old uh, crystalline igneous rock in the area of low rainfall in our country, particularly in the southern parts of the Deccan Plateau. And this variety of soil we are getting in the state of Odisha, Chhattisgarh, southern part of the Middle Ganga Plain, along the pediment zone of the Western Ghat. So this is uh, reddish in color due to diffusion of iron in uh, crystalline and metamorphic rocks. And in hydrated form where there is uh, some rainfall, in hydrated form the red soil is uh, converting into yellow color. After that uh, we will discuss about another variety of soil that is uh, laterite soil. This is the another variety of soil, laterite soil. This variety of soil we are getting in the area of high temperature and heavy rainfall and this variety of soil has been formed by the process of leaching. What is leaching? In very simple sentence what we can say the process by which superfine uh, particles of weather rock is uh, washed away in the form of solution by a stream of water or rain water. So this process of leaching makes the soil infertile or less fertile in nature. This variety of soil is uh, rich in iron and uh, aluminium but deficient in nitrogen, potas, potassium, lime and humus content. And uh, after using a chemical fertilizer, this variety of soil can be brought under cultivation also and uh, generally in the hilly areas of Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu it is used for growing tea and coffee. Then uh, in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, Kerala this variety of soil is also used for growing uh, cashew nut. After that we will discuss about the arid soil. With regard to the arid soil, this variety of soil we are getting in uh, the area where the amount of rainfall is very less, generally in the arid and the semi-arid region of our country. In this variety of soil, uh, salt content in this variety of soil, salt content is maximum. The reason is that as in this area amount of rainfall is uh, scanty or very less and due to high temperature evaporation is taking place very quickly. So due to this uh, the percentage of salt is maximum in this variety of soil. Then in lower origin of uh, this variety of soil we are getting conquer because of increasing calcium content downward. 
but uh, after proper irrigation this variety of soil can also become suitable for cultivation you can uh, take the example of uh, Rajasthan canal project so after construction of this uh, canal some of the parts of the Thar desert now have become important uh, grain producing areas of our country. After that uh, we will discuss about forest soil. So with regard to the forest soil, this uh, variety of soil, forest soil, we are getting in the hilly and the mountainous areas of our country. In the hilly and the mountainous region of our country, we are getting this variety of soil. And uh, with regard to the texture of this variety of soil, that may vary as per altitude due to change in environmental condition. This variety of soil is loamy and silty in valley and as we are moving towards the upper uh, slopes the soil become coarse grained. After that we will discuss about soil erosion and soil conservation. So with regard to the soil erosion in very simple sentence what we can say the process of removal of top layer of the soil by physical agents is known as soil erosion. Again I am repeating the removal of top layer of soil by physical agents is termed as soil erosion. So with regard to the soil erosion it can be of different types but in your textbook two main types have been included. First one is gully erosion. So when running water generally in the area where the steepness of the land is maximum, running water cuts through clay soil and make deep channels and such type of uh, erosion is known as gully erosion and an area bisected by a number of gullies can be termed as bad land. Another type of erosion that is seed erosion. So with regard to the seed erosion, this type of erosion takes place when water flows as a seed over a large area down a slope and washes away top layer of soil is known as, this type of uh, erosion is known as seed erosion. So with regard to the factors which are leading to the soil erosion, deforestation, overgrazing, unscientific agricultural practices. So these are the main causes which are leading to the soil erosion. After that, we will discuss about soil conservation. So with regard to the soil conservation, in a very simple sentence what we can say, the process by which erosion of the soil is restricted or is controlled and fertility of the soil is uh, preserved is known as soil conservation. So several soil con conservation measures are there. So soil conservation measures are first one contour plowing that is plowing along the contour lines. These are the imaginary lines which are joining the places having same elevation above the mean sea level. So in contour plowing, generally the farmers, instead of tilling the land up and down, they are plowing the land parallel to the contour line against the slope of the hill. This another one trace farming, in this type of farming, the slope of the hill cut into number of terraces, a stair-like structure which restrict the fast flow of a stream of water and by this way soil conservation is taking place. The next one is a strip cropping. So large field can be divided into number of strips 
and strips of grasses are left to grow between the crops to break up the force of the wind so this type of farming is known as the strip cropping the next one is shelter belt so the rows of trees can be planted it may be across the desert on the banks of the river to control erosion caused by the wind by the what we call river so these are all about the chapter and in the next video we will discuss next chapter thank you